Hi, this video will show you how to solve difference equation by Z transform. This is example 3. We are given a difference equation y of k plus 2 minus 18y of k plus 1 plus 32y of k equals 0. Subject to y of 0 equals 0, y of 1 equal to 2, and we are going to solve it by using Z transform method. First, we are going to take the Z transform to each term of the difference equation. Notice the right hand side is 0, so the Z transform of 0 is 0. So you have Z transform of y k plus 2 minus 18, Z transform of y k plus 1 plus 32, Z transform of y k equal to 0. By using the first shift theorem, z transform of f of k plus 2 is equal to z square times z transform of f k minus z square times f of 0 minus z times f of 1. Notice the notation here, z transform of f k is often denoted by capital F of z. Therefore, the z transform of y of k plus 2 according to the first shift theorem, is z square times z transform of y k minus z square times y of 0 minus z times y of 1. But we are given y of 0 equal to 0, y of 1 equal to 2. So substituting that, we have z transform of y of k plus 2 equal to z square times z transform of y k minus 2z. And now we can replace z transform of y k plus 2 by this expression z square times z transform of y k minus 2z. So the difference equation becomes z square times z transform of yk minus 2z minus 18 z transform of yk plus 1 plus 32 z transform of yk equal to 0. Next, we are going to find the z transform of yk plus 1. Using the first shift, z transform of f of k plus 1 is equal to z times z transform of f of k minus z times f of 0. Therefore, z transform of y of k plus 1 equal to z times the z transform of y of k minus z times y at 0. Substituting the value of y at 0 equal to 0, we get z transform of y k plus 1 equal to z times z transform of y k. Replace z transform of y k plus 1 by z times z transform of y k. The difference equation becomes z square z transform of y k minus 2z minus 18z times z transform of y k plus 32 z transform of y k equal to 0. Now we collect all the z transform of y k together. So I have z square z transform of y k and minus 18z z transform of y k and 32 z transform of y k and shift minus 2z to the right hand side. So I have z square z transform of y k minus 18z z transform of y k plus 32 z transform of y k equal to 2z. Since z transform of y k is a common factor on the left hand side, so we can factor out z transform of y k. I have z transform of y k times z square minus 18z plus 32 is equal to 2z. 
Therefore, z transform of yk is equal to 2z over z squared minus 18z plus 32. Now, we are ready to find yk by using inverse z transform. However, to make the calculation easier, there is a special trick. First, divide by z first. Therefore, z transform of y of k over z is equal to 2 over z squared minus 18z plus 32. Now, we factorize z squared minus 18z plus 32 into z minus 2 times z minus 16. If you have difficulty to factorize this, you can use calculator. First, you press mode, select 5 for equation, then select 3 for quadratic equation, and then select a equal to 1, 1x one square, then equal minus 18 for b, then 32 for c equal, then you solve, get 16 and 2. So therefore, the factor is z minus 2, z minus 16. Now you do the partial fraction on 2 over z minus 2, z minus 16, which is a over z minus 2 plus b over z minus 16. And we are going to find out what is a and b. So we do some rough work here. 2 over z minus 2, z minus 16 is equal to a over z minus 2 plus b over z minus 16. And I multiply both sides by denominator z minus 2, z minus 16. I get left hand side equal to 2, right hand side equal to a times z minus 16 plus b times z minus 2. To find the value of a, I can put z equal to 2. Then I'll get left hand side is equal to 2, right hand side is equal to a times 2 minus 16 plus b times 0. That means that 2 is equal to negative 14a, or a equal to negative 1 over 7. Now I put a equal to negative 1 over 7 into the partial fraction. So I get negative 1 over 7 above z minus 2. And then I can find b. To find b, put z equal to 16. Then I have left hand side equal to 2, right hand side equal to a times 0, plus b times 16 minus 2. That means 2 equal to 14b or b equal to 1 over 7. Substitute this value of b into the partial fraction. I'll get 1 over 7 on top of z minus 16. So z transform of y k over z is minus 1 over 7 over z minus 2 plus 1 over 7 over z minus 16. Now I multiply both sides by z. I get z transform of y of k equal to minus 1 over 7 times z over z minus 2 plus 1 over 7 times z over z minus 16. Now we do the inverse z transform. So y k is equal to negative 1 over 7 times the inverse z transform of z over z minus 2 plus 1 over 7 times the inverse z transform of z over z minus 16. 
Now, recall that z transform of a power k is z over z minus a, where a is a constant. So, the inverse z transform of z over z minus a is a power k. Apply this formula to the problems we have y of k is equal to negative 1 over 7 times 2 power k plus 1 over 7 times 16 power k for a equal to 2 and a equal to 16 respectively. For this, we have solved the difference equation.